Hey everyone, I'm Anna Dolosky. Quick, how many different words for milk can you think of? There's cashew milk, rice milk, almond milk, soy milk, and don't forget cow milk. Yes, the one that started it all. This is America. We have choices. We get it. We don't care what you drink as long as you get enough calcium and protein in your diet to support healthy bones and teeth and overall good health. So when it comes to skipping cow milk because of unfounded fears, well, that's where we kind of have to step in. We often hear people say, if you can't spell it or pronounce it, don't eat it or drink it. You can probably thank the food babe for that one. Vani Hari, aka the food babe, basically came up with that slogan and she's used it many times, more notably when she got Subway fans concerned over an additive in the bread, azodicarbonamide. Azodicarbonamide or azodicarbonamide. Okay, that one is a little hard to spell and pronounce, but spelling has nothing to do with sound science. Okay, back to milk, and this is where it gets fun. The skeptics will tell you milk is bad for you, that it contains growth hormones from cows, which it does. Hormones are nothing more than chemical messengers for protein. Both animals and humans produce hormones in the pituitary gland. In fact, if you didn't, you wouldn't experience normal growth and development. Some farmers may choose to use supplemental growth hormones to help cows produce more milk after they've given birth to a calf, but there is no Never, ever any hormones added to milk. Skeptics will also charge that cow milk contains antibiotics, and it doesn't. Milk is vigorously tested at every stage of the delivery process, from farm to processing facility, to make sure it doesn't contain antibiotics long before it reaches the grocery stores. But even so, skeptics will still stay away from the simplest, safest food you can buy. So if you're not drinking cow milk, what's the alternative? Well, some concerned consumers turn to almond milk, and here's where it gets tricky. Here's the breakdown of the ingredients in almond milk. Filtered water, almonds, sea salt, locust bean gum, gel and gum, natural flavors, calcium carbonate, vitamin E acetate, vitamin A palmitate, and vitamin D2. And the most important part of almond milk, lecithin. Lecithin is an emulsifier used in almond milk. It's completely safe, but if you're looking to stay away from things you can't pronounce or spell, that is not one of them. By now, you've probably noticed almond milk has several more ingredients than cow milk. The reason? Almonds can't actually produce milk. They're not cows. So almond milk is in fact multiple ingredients combined, including lecithin, to bring you the alternative to cow milk. Perhaps one perk is that almond milk contains fewer calories, about 30 to 60 for unsweetened and sweetened almond milk, compared with 110 or even 130 for 2% or whole milk. Let's be clear, we're not saying don't drink the almond milk or soy milk or rice milk. I drink all of them. They're actually quite yummy. But if you're going for the whole I don't drink it or eat it unless I can spell it and pronounce it, you might want to think of a better strategy. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website acsh.org. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our newsletter for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For the Council, I'm Anna Dolosky.